conjunction with an engineering background and workshop, the Rotopan finally evolved and has exceeded all expectations. Patents have been applied for in many countries. The in here is finished and the small has gone through. This top section then lifts off and that is then discarded to one side. You can see here we have the bottom recovery pan. That uh, finer material that came through fell down of this tray. This tray here is actually on a slope, as you can see there now. The heavy gold material or other heavy minerals that you may be collecting gather in this section here. And, and the lighter material builds up on that and up on this eight degree surface there is a, li a lip again around the edge here. The wash then is forced to go out and over the edge and that's the unwanted material it drops down the side of this band and into the base of your collecting drum, which you will see later. <coughs> when you've uh, finished doing one pan, this uh, we will do some real live gold panning and an expert called Trevor every time you do a bucket of areas. I think we'll move on from now to the, uh, to the live situation out by the creek and you'll see Trevor in full action out there and appreciate exactly how good this unit really is. Pop it up with water. Right. Now we've got three large buckets of, uh, of gravel that's been dug up from the side of the uh, creek here in the appropriate spot. See that's uh, gravel, make sure you've got anything yet. Yep. So there's the first dish, that didn't take long at all. Reseat the dish. The, um, the waste gravel that are passing through the dish onto the tray below are, are falling down to the bottom of that bucket. And that is waste. And the top up. just in case there might have been some, a very large nugget in it. Trevor's now processed uh, almost one bucket. Trevor, how many bucket loads can you process before checking the collection truck? Uh, well, normally four buckets, and then you've got to empty the major buckets for bottom. You don't, have to, you don't have to remove your collection tray if you don't want to. You can still just put it back again and just keep going. But everybody wants to know what sort of a result you don't have. This whole process is uh, displacing about 95% of the uh, original wash material and you're collecting 5% of it in the tray below. Is that right Trevor? Yep, that's correct. Okay. How long do you think it'll take you to pan that much gravel, Trevor? Oh shit, three quarters an hour. And that's been a, a very professional pan of that.
What's actually happening um, between that dish and the uh, collecting pan underneath by the action you're doing? It's falling in, but there's three stirrer bars going backwards and forwards through the material, allowing the gold to sink into the bottom. And when you go around in fully clockwise, there's a wipe off blade set above the height of the uh, collection tray that takes the lighter stuff over and drops it over the edge. Might just, uh, can we have a look at that underneath, Trevor, for a sec? Just underneath, let's point out to us exactly what's happening underneath. Those three stirrer bars are going through, cavitating the material underneath. If anything beats the bottom section, as it comes up, there's an eight degree angle on the tray. These are made out wider so the cavities grow bigger as you go backwards and forwards and that forces the gold to drop into the bottom. There's uh, also a, an 8mm lip on the side of the tray to retain the stuff so this can't climb over and get out. Right, so that's the three back loads. Well done. A bit more here as well. We've got more than, a bit more than three. concentrate that's in the collecting tray and put into a gold pan. That yeah. is all you have left no matter how many buckets you put through. Right. You can do this as many times as you want. Uh, uh, if you... The recommendation is to put the collection tray back in Fill your bucket with water. Allow this to sink because the bottom has been turned onto the top and you turn the thing over. Now you can be as sloppy as you like with the gold panning because what's going to be dropped over will only drop on your collection tray the next time. So there's no uh, chance of losing your gold here because it's. Uh going through the whole process anyhow again, so you'll, whatever drops in that bucket you've got for next time. Four buckets of you. Now you can go longer periods if you want to. If you know you're on to gold and you want to keep working fast, you just keep putting the tray back in. Yeah, but that, as I say, I'm yet to see the person who can, who can <laughs> resist the temptation of uh, finding out what he's got in the particular each run. That's right. Now, as I say, you can test it out spadeful by spadeful, bucket by bucket, or you can go four, eight, twelve, as many buckets as you want to before you check it out. If your eyes are good, you'll see there's got pinpoints of gold there, very, very fine, as well as the, uh, the heavier cork material. Mm. You'll see some of the fine sticking up there. Mm. Nice gold. <laughs> 